Alrighty guys, so I hope everyone is having a great and wonderful day today. I must say, I've been reading the comments on the Moldavite Challenge vlog, and I've noticed that, you know, a lot of people um, started to feel a little bit anxious, or, you know, some crazy things were happening when you tried the Moldavite Challenge. And I must say, guys, yes, that will happen, right? That will happen. And that's why it's a challenge, right? I want to see how long you guys can go without feeling anxious, without feeling those those energies like just overtake you. Because, guys, the very most important thing that I've learned about Moldavite, right? And I have the Moldavite here, right? I'm not I'm not even wearing any grounding stones right now. And I've actually wore this all last night, right, while I was sleeping. And I'm still wearing it now. And I'm completely fine, okay? Here's the thing, though. I've noticed that before I reached my healing cycle, right, this is what happened. I would hold the Moldavite and I would actually feel very overwhelmed, okay? I would feel very overwhelmed working just with the Moldavite without a grounding stone before I reached my healing completion cycle because you know what happened, guys? You know what really happens, guys? It really just accelerates the change so quickly, so it just brings everything up, right? It brings up all emotions. It brings... It just... Right? It just brings it all up, okay? So this challenge, guys, is not for the weak, right? You have to have courage. You have to be brave. You have to be strong to go through these changes. And this is like the quick, like, it's almost like taking a, a shot, so to speak. It's like a quick, not a quick fix, but it's just quick. I mean, it'll just whoosh, right? It'll really, it'll really just bring everything up. And... I definitely noticed some of the things that you know you guys were mentioning in um, the comments right for that video um, when I did when I hadn't reached that healing completion cycle okay but I've also noticed guys now that I think about it you know if you're blowing out lights I think that's pretty cool actually that's like a really cool magic trick Moldavite magic trick I'm gonna start adding that to like our Moldavite magic trick book right if you can blow out lights, that's you can do a really cool like Moldavite magic trick. Props for you, good for you, man. That's a really cool like Moldavite trick. I mean, just imagine it's like yeah, I could blow out light bulb. You know, that's really cool. Like poof, you know. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so if you're doing that, congratulations, you just entered into the Moldavite magic trick book. So um, yes, but if you're still feeling anxious, just know that for me personally, what I've noticed is that. There's still work to do. There's still healing to do. If you're feeling very anxious, right, when you're working with just Moldavite, you know, without using any grounding stone, you still have work to do in your system. But don't be discouraged because you will one day, one day you will reach the healing completion cycle. Okay. And that's why I actually want to do this update because what exactly happens now once you heal, right? What, what's, you know, do you still need Moldavite once you reach the, and complete your healing cycle? Like what's, like what, what's next, right? What is next once you reach the healing completion cycle, right? What more changes come and, you know, are there higher frequencies, right? Because there always is, there's always a new level to move towards. And I think that's the great thing about, you know, life and the fact that we're first spirit instead of bodies, right? That we always, we're infinite, right? There's always something new. It's just so infinite. There's always a new level we can go to spiritually, ment mentally, and physically even, but more so spiritually, right? There's always a new level that we can keep moving towards. And I want to share that with you, um, share that with you guys in this video because it's very important to talk about what comes next so that you guys are prepared. And like I said, I'm sharing my journey, so maybe things could be a little bit different on your journey once you reach the healing completion cycle um, of the Moldavite journey. And now you're walking into a brand new territory. It could be completely different, but I'm here to share with you what I'm experiencing. That way, once you reach the healing completion cycle, you'll be better prepared as to what could come next for you and how to handle it. Okay, so... What happens after you reach the healing completion cycle? So guys, this is what I'm actually going through now. So once I reached that healing completion cycle and the way that I actually knew about it was because my spirit just told me. I mean, I was just, for the first time in my life, I was just like, you know what? I'm done with the past. I'm okay with it. Boom, bada boom, bada beam, bada boom, right? Done. I was just done. I was like, let's move forward, okay? That's the first sign that you know you've reached the, the healing completion cycle. But what happens next? What really, really happens next? So this is what I've been going through lately, okay? I've been going through a major upgrade in my life 
in all areas of my life, but it first starts with me inside the spirit. Have I stopped using Moldavite? Absolutely not, right? I'm still working with Moldavite. I'm still using Moldavite because Moldavite still increases your frequency, right? Because as you're moving up those levels, as it's increasing your frequency, right? You have to let go of all that baggage. That's where the healing comes in. That healing, you know, that healing season of your life, you have to go through it until you finally complete it. And then from there on, the Moldavite starts to take you up higher to higher frequencies because it still accelerates change. But it's a different kind of change, right? It's a different kind of growth, so to speak, because now you're embodying new traits. Now you're learning new things. You're not just focused on healing. Now you're, it's like you're in this building phase now. You're building now, right? You're building on a clean slate. You're building on a strong, stronger foundation. And obviously my foundation is Christ, but now I'm building even more on that foundation, okay? And that's what I'm really working on right now. I'm working more now on building on that foundation. And what's great about Moldavite, guys, is that you can channel with this, which is what I really love about Moldavite. You can channel with this. So now I'm channeling, you know, with God, more with God. I'm channeling with my angels. I'm ch channeling, channeling, channeling with my higher self on what's to come next, okay? Because I've realized, guys, that once you reach this completion cycle, there's a battle going on. Okay, there's a battle going on and I don't know how many of you who watch this are Christians, but I'm a Christian, right? And I'm in a battle, right? I'm in a constant battle with the devil now that I've completed this cycle and now I'm working more so on learning God's strategies on how to defeat the devil because I already have the victory, but, the, but I still have to go through the battle. I still have to fight, you know, I still have to fight in the spiritual realm. I still have to do things you know, to prepare for spiritual warfare, okay? Like, this is no joke. Like, this is, like, real for me. And I noticed it the other day, and I was like, all right, God, show me the plan. Show me the strategy. How do we defeat the devil? Like, you know, it's just this thing that you have to go through as a Christian. But I love it because it's training me, right? It's training me how to fight in the spirit. It's training me how to... I like it, though. I like it, though, because I see it as... um, It's just like being in, like, a... a, a you know, a battle, not a battle. It's like being in a, in the military. It's like being in the army. You know, it's like you're training. You know, now you're training. Now you're, you're that, that training, you're going to war. You're doing what you need to do. And, and I love it because with God, we've already won. But, you know, we still have to go through that journey. We still have to go through that process. And I personally love it because it refines my character. And, you know, that's what I'm really working on right now is just practicing my skills now for the battle. And I wanted to share that with you guys because whether you believe, whatever you believe in, you know, I've even heard of spiritual attacks, you know, um, in spiritual forums, even in just spirituality in general. You know, if you believe in ghosts or if you believe in, you know, all that stuff, right? You still have to deal with spiritual attacks on some way, shape, or form. And you need to know how to protect yourself from that, you know? And this is what... I'm learning right now. I am learning how to be, you know, to overtake the enemy, to overtake Satan and his demons because recently, guys, I feel like, you know, I have to close my blinds because I feel like like, like spirits are watching me. It's like the weirdest thing in the world. And, you know, it's like intuitive. I don't know if you guys have ever felt that, like intuitively, maybe you feel like just someone's watching you or like, you know, I'm, I, I mean, I'm not saying I believe in ghosts or anything like that, but, you know, um, it just feels like something's watching me and I feel like, you know, I finally got my answer. It's like Satan's like demons are watching me to see where they can attack. And it's like, okay, well, I'm getting ready. You know, I'm getting ready. You know, I'm not just going to go out there into the battle without, you know, preparing, without knowing what I need to do, how to take the devil out, you know? So it's like, I'm preparing, right? And that's what I'm doing right now. And so I really want to share this with you guys because it is what we have to go through, right? It's what I'm, I have to go through, at least on my journey with the Moldavite. I have to now prepare to deal with spiritual attacks with the spiritual enemy because you have to fight. You have to fight in order to get to the promise that God has given you, right? You have to go through those challenges. And like I said, guys, I'm super excited to be working with Moldavite. I, I love working with Moldavite so much because it just... It literally lifts my whole being, like my whole mind to a higher level, which reminds me, guys, 
I have updated the website www.themoldivideexperience.weebly.com. It is completely changed, okay? Um, go check it out. I've actually added some goodies as well to Moldavite, which I want to make on my next video tomorrow on how you guys can make like necklaces, um, really simple necklaces so you guys can have the Moldavite near your heart chakra, right? And I have put some of those items, they're called accessories, Moldavite accessories. I have put that now on the website so you guys can go check it out. I only have one Amazon um, Moldavite vendor up there, which I will be taking off by the end of this week because I, just in my spirit, it just doesn't feel like it needs to be there. But since I have said in my previous videos that I have some, I'm just going to leave it up there till this Sunday. So if you want to get Moldavite, just go there. Um, but it will be gone this Sunday. In the meantime, guys, though, I have a whole list of new things you guys can get um, in the Moldavite store. Um, you know, things like, you know, uh, notebooks for your dream journal, Moldavite dream journals. If you like to do Moldavite art, there's, you know, there's pens, there's canvases, there's markers you guys can get there for your Moldavite art, whatever you want to get out there. I really felt like sharing that with you because I put time and effort into updating that website. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, once again, it's www.themoldaviteexperience.weebly.com and I will put that link below so you guys can check it out. Um, but I really wanted to share this with you guys though, this update, um, because it's very, very, very important to realize that now we're walking through a new path. We're walking through uncharted territories, you know, to kind of take you through like where I'm at right now, you know, just think of like the Israelites when they entered into the promised land, you know, and then you, you would think that everything was fine once they, en once they entered into the promised land, but the truth is, guys, the very, very, very truth is, is that they had to go and battle, right? They had to go and fight, you know, enemies, you know, they had to fight other clans and other tribes to really take possession of the promises that God had for them. And so that's what I feel like I'm doing now. Now I'm in the battle. Now we're in the battle, guys. I, I'm so glad that you guys are here joining me in the battle because at the end of the day, we already have the victory, but we still have to go through the process, okay? And... So I'm super excited to share that with you guys. We're going through the battle. We already have the victory, but we still have to learn how to fight in the spirit. And yeah, I'm sure I will, I will be posting more videos about that because now, you know, we're moving forward. Um, I'm sure I'll, I'll be po posting up some new ways to do some spiritual battle with Moldavite because they are incredible ways to do so. I'm already learning how to do like a lot of spiritual battle um, techniques and, and spiritual warfare techniques, techniques as well. That I really want to share with you guys and um, I think will benefit you no matter what you know religion or you know what beliefs you have you still need to learn how to fight in the spirit period so that um, you know you're you know how to protect yourself and move forward into you know your God-given destiny and into your purpose because that's part of life okay so thank you guys for tuning um, don't forget to check out the website I will put the link below where you guys <coughs> where you guys can go check it out if you haven't yet, um, subscribe to this channel and thumbs up this video as well. Um, so check out my video. Tomorrow I will be talking about how to make a personalized Moldavite necklace. Um, I think you guys will really like. So yes, I send you guys lots of love. I will talk to you guys soon and have a great day. <laughs>